Fifteen years after the first Gulf War, the Ashton Garrison Museum in Saanich is adding a wayward medal with its very own story to the world's most complete collection of peacekeeping medals. Uh, Major Al, we received the medal from the Kuwaiti government, and on behalf of the state of Kuwait and commanding officer 11th Service Battalion, I present to the museum the Kuwaiti Campaign Medal. It's the Kuwaiti Campaign Medal, you know, for, for, the, for the campaign, um, the, for the liberation of Kuwait. And it was particularly significant to the Kuwaiti government and nation that they wanted uh, to recognize the actions of the coalition forces that came in and uh, liberated them. Canada contributed warships, CF-18 fighter planes, and more than 4,000 military personnel to the international coalition that helped oust Saddam Hussein from Kuwait in 1991. The medal is available to every Canadian serviceman that was in action at that time, to every American and to every British uh, soldier that was in action at that time. In 1993, 4,000 of the medals were sent to the Canadian Embassy in Kuwait but that collection apparently vanished. A, a medal being issued is just ordinary, you know, it's just a medal being issued, you think. But once you really know about medals and how they're worn and where they're worn and why they're worn and what they represent, then it adds more interest to it. Veterans who received the Kuwait medal can now wear it in uniform, overturning a previous ruling by the Canadian government when the first medal was issued. For the Ashton Garrison Museum, the new medal brings its Peacekeepers Corridor up to date. These medals are extremely significant from our point of view of the historic chronological development of the United Nations, uh, particularly when you consider that Lester B. Pearson was the founding father of the operational uh, United Nations as we know it to this day. Music